This video is supported by Orlando Informer. Hello everyone, today I'm at Universal Orlando to do something I was not allowed to do one year ago. Let's go do it. Before we go inside, take a look at this Mardi Gras sign. It is now incorrect as Universal has extended the dates to Mardi Gras. It is now through April 11th. How about that? Almost two extra weeks for Mardi Gras this year. So what am I doing today that I was not allowed to do a year ago? Well, you're looking at it. I'm actually inside a theme park today. It was one year ago, March 15th at the end of the day. That's when Universal Studios Orlando shut down for the pandemic. What we thought was just gonna be for a couple weeks, but it did not reopen until June 5th. So I'm here today just because I can be. And here is something I'm noticing for the very first time. There is a plaque on the front store here, the Universal Studios store, dedicated to Chuck Lindbergh, who was the director of merchandise for Universal Studios theme parks. I learned something new here all the time. At the moment, Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem is a 70 minute wait, and Shrek 4D is at 50 minutes. It seems like the spring break crowds are coming. It's not too windy, it's not too cold, but Rip Ride Rocket is closed today. They tell me it's just for regular maintenance. It will be up again tomorrow. I am not here today for any special reason, just to hang out in a theme park. You know what though? I might have to try a Mardi Gras snack though, a treat, a dessert. My 2021 diet, it's no longer in effect. I'm switching to plan B. I'm gonna eat healthy on my editing days. That's the new plan. It looks like now they're just starting to open this New Orleans food truck. I really wanna try this and do a twisted tater. I think I need to give them a few minutes though to get prepared. We'll come back to that food truck in a little bit. Most of these Mardi Gras food tents and food trucks don't open until like 11 a.m. We're almost there, almost there. Now with that food truck, I appear to have my entree all figured out. For my dessert, let's go into the tribute store, figure that out. So I've already had the Bananas Foster Cheesecake Pop, really good, I enjoyed it. I also enjoy the Mardi Gras Macaron Donut. So I think today, after I have my entree, we're gonna go with the Mardi Gras Vanilla Cake with Cinnamon Swirl. Okay, so it looks like I have my entree planned and now my dessert. Now the funny thing is, like I mentioned earlier, my diet has gone askew and that I was gonna switch over to eating healthy on editing days. The funny thing is, Today was supposed to be an editing day, but I'm here at the parks. A 35 minute wait for the mummy, and it appears the Blues Brothers show just ended. Well, at least we can watch them drive off and maybe tailgate them a little bit. This back alley that they have here in New York is really cool. You don't get a lot of foot traffic. It's a good place to take selfies, I'll tell you that. So all through there, that back alley, and then this area right here, this back alley area, also good for photographs and selfies. The wait time for Transformers, 40 minutes, you know, that's not really super bad. That's kind of okay. Almost time to go back for our food, but I want to remind you that if you're interested in little to no wait times and unlimited food, come to the Orlando Informer Meetup on June 4th and 5th. Also, if you just want to save on daytime tickets to Universal Studios or SeaWorld, visit OrlandoInformer.com for those as well. Well, son of a gun, look at this. Here in New York, Universal has covered up the fire hydrant. Often during the summertime, they unplug it and let the water run free. You know, kids kind of play in it, but I guess right now, closed up. The wait time listed, 40 minutes, not too bad, but they are using the extended queue for Transformers today. Here's a question I've been asked many times, so I should probably answer it. But for the food lanyards, the sampling lanyard, you can buy those at any of the food kiosks. Okay, it's now open. Let's get the Andouille Twisted Tater for $10.99. 
And here is my twisted tater with andouille sausage. Um, this sausage is longer and thinner than the sausage they have in the tribute store. And yes, I am resisting so many Michael Scott office jokes right now. But we're gonna give this one a try. That andouille sausage and twisted tater was so good. I don't think it's better than the pastry wrap sausage they have there in the tribute store, but it's close. It's close. I do recommend that andouille sausage and twisted tater. And the, the person selling it to me, she says the queso cheese they have is so, so good as well. I was saving that for another time. But what I had today was delicious. Now let's go to the tribute store for the dessert. Now when comparing the two sausage, the andouille sausage they have in the tribute store and this twisted tater andouille sausage, I like the twisted tater, like the tater part, I like that better than the pastry that they have on the sausage at the tribute store. But the sausage itself, I prefer the one from the tribute store. We are now back inside the tribute store to get our cake. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Here is my Mardi Gras cake. A vanilla cake with cinnamon it has a macaron on top of it it is five dollars if you don't mind me rounding up if you don't like me rounding it's four dollars and ninety nine cents let's dig into it and see how it is okay guys I have just finished my cake again I, I forgot to take a picture for IG I'm having a hard time recently like not doing the IG pictures just digging into my food but uh, I had the cake it was good I, I like all the cakes they have here at the tribute store it seems like every tribute store has a cake similar to this and I like all of them they do a great job on the cakes in any of the tribute stores they have here at Universal Studios Orlando okay time to move on down the road see what's happening in the rest of the theme park but one more thing about the food Every time I show food, I get the comment about how expensive it is. And true, it is expensive. We are in a theme park, and theme park food is pricey. But remember, if you come to the Orlando Informer Meetup, they have free unlimited food at that event, June 4th and 5th this year. Here in New York City, this rock climbing experience has not reopened since the park reopened. But if you are interested, or your kid interested in rock climbing, over at Jurassic Park at Islands of Adventure, that rock climbing experience is open. Part of the fountain show just ended, but we are still getting hit with like a mist from the fountain show. It's very refreshing, quite honestly. From time to time during the day, they will do a portion of the fountain show. What we just missed was the fountain show that was for Jaws. So we had that awesome John Williams score playing in the fountains going. They'll do several different shows, but my favorite ones are Jaws and Back to the Future. Every time I see The Fast and The Furious, The Supercharged, I think of two songs. I Want You to Want Me and Why Can't We Be Friends. Let's head into Diagon Alley, check out the joint. Also, I have a special shout out to do in there. Special shout out to Colin, also known as Theme Park Cinema. He spotted a hidden Ricky in a previous video. I also hit a Ricky in this one. If you found it, let me know when and where in the comment section below. Let's head into Ollivander's. There's something I need to check on in here. So I just had to double check real fast. It's still the same one as they had in 2020. They have not switched over to a new collectible one just yet for 2021. I would imagine this would last a while as, you know, the store was not open a lot of 2020. So this particular one may still be here for a while. Escape from Gringotts, a cool 100 minute wait right now. Speaking of wait times and crowds, I've always been told that of the two gates, studios and islands, it's islands that get more people in the gates. This little cart they have here near the hopping pot, they always change the theming or rotate the theming of this corner or this end pretty often. Today we have butterbeer, so it's all dedicated to butterbeer. We got butterbeer mugs a butterbeer t-shirt, a butterbeer hoodie, and butterbeer ball caps. The last time we were here, at least that I filmed it, it was dedicated to elves like Dobby and such. The t-shirt is $35, the butterbeer hoodie 60 bucks, and the ball cap is $28. And now that I'm looking at merchandise, that reminds me, there is something pretty new in Weasley's we need to go check out. Mayhem this way. 
So here we have the Exploding Snap card game for $17. It's a two-person game, but each person can only use one hand. Uh, I kind of understand that you set it up like solitaire, and you got to slap some cards at some point. Uh, but the ultimate goal of the game is for you to run out of your cards first. That's how you win. And there's some slapping in there at some point. Just understand, you're not slapping your opponent, you're slapping the cards. I would also like to point out, despite the Weasleys all being Gryffindors, I like how they decorate the cash register as Hufflepuff. Alright guys, I just got out of Weasleys, I ran into Kimberly and Colby, and they have challenged me to MIB. Your two scores added up against mine? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Alright, listen, he might be a ringer, I have no idea. Men in Black, Alien Attack. Just a 15 minute wait, that's awesome. In the queue for MIB, this alien here had been missing, but it's back and it looks kind of shiny and new, like maybe it got a refurb. Okay, we just got off of MIB. We all got the bonus, so good for us. My score was a 690, what'd you get? 487,000. I got 377,000. So if you add those two together, they beat me, you got me. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun though. Thanks for uh, playing with me. Thank Absolutely. you for having Thank us, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. I like to do that whenever I can. Now, I can't do it all the time. Some vlogs or videos are more work than others. You can see by today, I'm just basically walking around seeing what's happening. So it's pretty easy for me to get away and do that type of thing. Some vlogs or videos are way more work than others. Like, it requires a lot of research and I have to be task oriented. In that case, it's harder for me to get away, like to do this type of thing. But if I can swing it, and the wait time's not too long, I'll ride in my B with you. Believe me when I tell you this, guys. This summer is going to be a hot, busy, crowded summer at the theme parks. There's a lot of pent up demand. Just by judging at the early spring break crowds, this summer will be insane. Mark my words, beware. Since Mardi Gras has been going on and the floats are occupying Hollywood Boulevard, Marilyn has not been on Hollywood Boulevard with her caddy. Rather, she's been hanging out by the Hollywood Hotel. And I think that's going to end our day here. Kind of a day to remember the sad day that the parks closed down, but also kind of to remember and appreciate what we have with the parks being open, all the joy and happiness they bring us. And before we go, there's one more thing I want to remind you. If you're interested in the Orlando Informer meetups, I have a link in the description box. Or maybe you just want tickets to Universal or tickets to SeaWorld, they do that too. Check out the links in the description box. And as always, Okay guys, a lot of new Flicksters this week. We'll start with the new vice presidents and executive producers. We have Sean Rasmussen as a vice president. And then the executive producers would be Jennifer Hardin, Chris Whipple, Joanne Leake, Kim Krulak, and Jeremy Bullard. And now on to the new producers, Caden and Callie Stab, Christopher Robinson, Anthony Gutierrez, Richard Poulin, Adam Dennison, Ryan Lamaster, Atir Dar, Janet McIntyre, Loki1972, Brian Foster, and X8675309858X. x And here are the new supporters for the week. Teresa Miller, Ann G, Miller Farms AL, The Love Family, Rob Hedgelin, Mama Lama, Yolanda Sizemore, Dale Bryan, KB, Timothy Spencer, Jack Soto, Daniela Poulin, Alex Perdue, Amelia Bennett, and the Price Howells family. Thank all of you guys so much for becoming Flicksters and joining the team.